All right, guys, in today's how to earn from the best six monthly dividend ETFs, I asked ChatGPT what it thought was the best six monthly dividend ETFs. And here is my criteria. I am a conservative investor and I want a passively managed fund with a low expense ratio, but a high dividend yield. Here are the six that ChatGPT recommended from worst to best given my low risk tolerance and my desire for the highest dividend yield possible. So first on the list is iShare Select Dividend ETF and they emphasize high dividend yields and includes companies with a solid dividend track record. They are higher risk due to specific focus on dividend paying stocks. Now their top holdings include Altria and Philip Morris, which are both tobacco companies, Verizon, IBM, AT&T, Walgreens, and if you live in Virginia like I do, Dominion Energy. Their performance is not bad. Looking at their five year return, it is a 6.22%. And if you go to dqydj.com ETF calculator, if you invested $10,000 into them 10 years ago, with the ending date being today, your return will be 8.18% and the final value would be $20,244.95. Going over their dividend, we see that they have an annual dividend yield of 3.86%. And going back here, their expense ratio is 0.38. So this video took great inspiration from Joshua Mayo's own six best monthly dividend ETFs to invest in. So if you want to, you could check that out. But in that video, he shared with us a formula and this formula allows you to calculate the amount that you can earn per ETF in dollar terms. And we'll talk about this a little bit later. So stick with me because it's going to contribute big to our punchline in the end, which has to deal with McDonald's, our favorite food. So coming in on number five, we have Spider S&P Dividend ETF. SDY, and this one prioritizes dividend growth and stability, including companies with consistent dividend increases. They offer potentially higher dividend yields than some other ETFs, but with a focus on established dividend paying companies. SPY is linked to an index of 60 ish holdings and tilted towards consumer utilities and industrial, so, i.e., they are the necessities. Companies must have increased dividends every year for at least 25 consecutive years to be included. So, guys, this is a really, really small club. Their top holdings include State Street, 3M, IBM and Walgreens. With their five year return, they come in at 8.14%, which is much higher than the one we just saw with iShares DBY. So, taking a look at their 10 year return, starting again with $10,000, we would get $22,531.82 with an annual return of 9.47%. Now, SDY's dividend yield is going to be 2.60%, and their expense ratio is found at 0.35%. Now, not stopping while we have momentum, our number four is Wisdom Tree US Quality Dividend Growth Fund DGRW. And this one seeks dividend growth and quality, potentially offering moderate dividend yields while emphasizing stability. It may be suitable for investors with a lower risk tolerance, seeking a balance between dividend growth and stability. Now, taking a look at their holdings, we see some names that we usually see Microsoft, Apple, Johnson Johnson, Procter and Gamble, Broadcom, Merck. So basically, what we see is for Wisdom Tree, they invest in necessities. Performance wise, five year return, we're looking at a 10.65%, which is the highest we've seen so far in our comparison. Now, taking a look at 10K invested 10 years ago, we can see that taking a look at this, their final value would be $26,856.66, which comes down to an annual return percentage of 11.64%. So while Wisdom Tree has the highest 10 year annual return, their annual dividend yield is the lowest in all our comparisons so far, coming in at 2.04%. Their expense ratio, on the other hand, is 0.28%, which is lower than the two that we saw before. So let's talk about Josh Mayo's formula that I was talking about. Now, his formula calculates the dollar amount of dividends you'll earn per year. And that equation is dollar amount of dividends you'll earn this year equals the dividend yield divided by 100 times the price of the share right now. Now, keep this in mind because at the end of this video, we're going to use this formula to calculate my variation of the Big Mac index for each of these ETFs. And that's going to be fun. Now, number three on the list, we have Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, SCHD, which emphasizes dividend sustainability and quality with a focus on relatively higher dividend yields. It may be suitable for investors seeking moderate dividend yields while prioritizing 
prioritizing lower risk, higher quality companies. Top holdings for SCHD include Pepsi, Broadcom, Merck, Coca-Cola, things that we all know. On their five year returns, it comes in at 10.67%, which is very high in itself. It's higher than DGRW. And with our 10K invested 10 years ago, using our calculator, it comes down to $24,616.42, which comes in at annual return percentage of 10%. 0.56%. The dividend yield for SEHD is 3.74% and the expense ratio is 0.06%, which is the lowest yet that we've seen in this video. And while we're on the topic of SEHD, please check out my last video where we asked ChatGPT which one you'd rather invest in, SEHD or Jebby. So number two on the list, we have another iShares core dividend growth ETF, DGRO, which seeks dividend growth and quality, potentially offering moderate dividend yields with a focus on stable growing companies. It may be suitable for investors with a lower risk tolerance seeking dividend growth potential and a balance between stability and yield. Now their top holdings include the, what we've seen before, Microsoft, Apple, Johnson & Johnson, JP Morgan, Exxon. Performance wise, their five year return is 9.74%, which is really good. And if we take a look at 10K invested 10 years ago, it comes down to a final value of $24,705.75. So that's an annual return of 10.64%. Their annual dividend yield comes in at 2.43% and their expense ratio is 0.08%. All right, guys, so we went through five, five of the best monthly dividend ETFs. And this one is the last one. This one is the one that ChatGPT thinks is the best. So number one, the one that ChatGPT thinks is the best is Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF, VIG, which focuses on dividend growth and stability rather than high dividend yields. It may be suitable for conservative investors seeking stable dividend growth potential with a lower emphasis on current yield. And for this one, they are one, where they only consider companies that have increased payouts for at least 10 consecutive years. So only those companies are included in this fund, which makes it a really, really small club. On their top holdings list, they have what we've seen before, Microsoft, Apple, Exxon, and P&G. Performance wise, the five year return looks to be 10.37%. 10K invested 10 years ago in VIG would yield $27,410.20. That's an annual return of 10.6%. 2%. On our dividend yield side, we see an annual dividend yield of 1.97%. And when it comes to the expense ratio, this one is cheap. It's at 0.06%. So for every $10,000, you're only paying $6 in management fees. All right, guys, here we are. We're at the punchline. You made it. And we're going to use the formula that Joshua Mayo gave us, which is dividend yield divided by 100 times the current ETF price. That'll give us the dollar amount that we will earn this year if we own just one share. So the first one on our list was DVY, which had a dividend yield of 3.86. Now we take that and we divide it by 100 times 109.19, which is the price I'm using right now. That will give us $4.21. Number five, SDY. We have a dividend yield of 2.60%. Divide that by 100 times the current ETF price of $118.23. That gives us an amount per year of $3.07. Number four, we have DGRW with a dividend yield of 2.04. Divide that by 100 times 62.40, which gives us $1.27. Number three, SEHD. We have a dividend yield of 374%. Divide that by 100 times 69.64. It gives us a dollar amount of $2.60. Number two, we have DGRO with a dividend yield of 2.43%. Divide that by 100 times 49.08. We come in at an amount per year of $1.19. And finally, we have VIG with a dividend yield of 1.97 divided by 100 times a price of $152.90. Cents. That comes down to $3.01. So my big Mac test is basically if the dividend yields that we earn for the year can buy us a big Mac, that scores 10 points for me. It is number one. And of that list that we just went through, there is only one that can actually make that possible in the least expensive states. And that is DVY. The cheapest big Mac can be found in Mississippi for our comparatively $3.91. The most expensive one is in Hawaii, where it runs you up to $5.31. Yeah, man, these guys are incredible. And really, the only one in our list that can actually buy a Big Mac in some of the states in the US is DVY. So surprisingly, the ETF that ChatGPT thought was the worst was actually the one that will get us fed. Now, if you like this video, you might wanna 
check out the last video that we did on SCHD versus Jeppy. And if you want another food video where we kind of use some other tests, like maybe a spicy chicken test from Chick-fil-A or maybe some other food test, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.